Music Access. Hello, 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 everyone. TGIF. It's a good, good, wonderful Friday, finally. And it's already the fourth day I'm spending with you guys. So, what do you guys think? Do I sound more like a radio DJ than when I first started? But the messages that I read on the message board said that my voice was still shaking and that there are also words of encouragement telling me to relax and have courage and be brave. Well, I hope you guys weren't feeling nervous as well because of me. So, let me start off the show today by saying this. Everyone, the truth is, I'm not shaking because I'm nervous. It's because, well, you guys know why, right? Our first song on Friday, November 28th was Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Hello, Music Access family. I'm James of Royal Pirates here again to meet with you guys. And I'm shaking, I'm shaking in my boots. But not because I'm nervous but because I'm super excited to see you guys. And as you guys know, I'm here because Aaron's away in Europe with his group members on tour. And honestly, it's a little nerve wracking for me sitting here in the studio all alone in the first hour. But when our guests come in for the second hour, I get really super excited because of all the fun we'll have. So this week we had Jane, 15 and Jimmy and Yedin, and Kihun who came in so far this week. And to be honest, all of them had their positives, and it was it was a really good time with each of them, each one of them. I think my personal favorite was probably with 15 and Chimin and Yedin because there are more people in the studio, and so we could have just had way more positivity with each other. And guess what? We have another guest coming in for the second hour today, and I'm really excited to meet him. I heard he's the same age as me. And while we're at it, let me tell you what's up ahead in the second hour. Our Friday corner with Crazino, or Crazy No, dancing in the club M.A. This week's topic is things that drive me crazy and songs that drive me crazy. What drives you crazy? Your parents nagging, your dog that barks all the time at you, that, do- that guy that you suddenly have a crush on, a gripping sports match, and what are some of the songs that you can't stop listening to? Let us know the reason why. Just write Club M.A. on your title when you send in your messages. And the first hour will pretty much be the same as yesterday with Who Am I Part 2 and the AA Music Quiz. Well, here's how you can listen to Music Access with James of Royal Pirates and how you can participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphones, and you can also send us your messages through the app using the comment function. And you can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirang.com forward slash music access, and leave your messages there on our message board. You can also see our broadcast in real time. And another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners listening on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Seogwipo, and 101.9 for Taejung. So we talked about a lot of different ways that you can tune in to us. And if there's a song that you would like to hear during the program, you can send in your song request as well. Just remember remember to write request on your title and tell us a little bit about why you want to hear this song. I'll try hard to introduce as many messages from you guys as I can to so send them in. All right, we'll come back right after a song for message time. Up next, we've got Feist with one, two, three, four. The song you just heard was 1234 by Feist. Now it's time to listen to the stories with message time. All right, first off, we've got a message from Alex from USA. It's short and sweet. It says, Hello, James, you sound great. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll try to keep improving from now on. Okay. Azia from Bulgaria says, Bulgaria says, Hello, James. Happy, happy Friday. How are you? Big Royal Pirates fan here. And by the way, I write for the first time to you, I listen to the show, and I want to tell you that you're doing great. It's absolutely normal to make mistakes, but that to me looks more cuter. Okay, wish you had an amazing Friday and weekend. Take care. Can I, oh, thank you in advance with love, Azia. Oh, man, Azia, thank you so much, but it seems like most of the messages coming in are saying it's okay to make mistakes. I'll do my best to make some less mistakes, but thank you. Ruzi from Indonesia says, Hello, James. Happy Friday. 
I think I got used to listening to your voice as a DJ now. It's your fourth day, and you already did a great job on it. Clap, clap, clap for you. You're shaking because it's cold there, right? Uh, anyway, have fun and keep fighting. I know you'll be doing awesome. Lots of love, Ruzi from Indonesia. Hello, Ruzi from Indonesia. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and I'm shaking because... I'm so nervous and I'm so excited to meet you guys, <laughs> apparently. Erlin Chua from Malaysia says, Hey James and MA family, how are you today? Yes, I got my results in the morning. It's great news because I passed every unit. And then, woohoo, I'm so happy now. And I'm not tuning in now because there's a problem with the connection, but I wish you all have a great day. Well, hopefully you can listen to a recording of this and we, we want to say congratulations on pre passing all your units and make sure you tune in next time as soon as your connection <laughs> starts working again. Vivi from Brazil says, Hi James, today I had a really good day. I made my final exam in a subject that I hate very much, but I feel that I did really well on the exam. Okay, so she took the exam. After the exam, I had fun with my friends playing board games. By the way, does RP play board games or card games? And then I arrived at home right in time to listen to Suyun at k Poppin. I had a really good time listening to him, and now I can have fun with you. I'm really blessed. Hope you're having a great day, too. Cheers from your Brazilian fans. Send a cheer up for my friend Nana. She's feeling down these days. Okay, thank you, Vivi from Brazil. Um, cheer up, Nana, please. I, I don't know how to sound more authentic with that. Cheer up! All right, it's going to be okay. And also, uh, congratulations on the exam for the class that you hated. Hopefully now you can start liking it. And RP doesn't play board games together. We just play music. But Suyun does do many puzzles on his own. All right. Thanks so much, everyone, for sending in your mes messages. Let's listen to a song before we come back with Who Am I? Part 2. Up next, this was requested from Maeve from Peru, John Legend's All of Me. I want to know you, and it's strange, we might be meeting for the first time. I don't know how much I want to know. There's only one reason. It's because of your family. So let everyone who is curious know more about you. Introducing our Music Access family members, Who Am I? I feel like there is nothing I can do cause of you. So I'm sure a lot of our MA family members will be really happy to hear this corner has made a comeback. Who Am I Part 2? It's a corner to find out more about our Music Access family members and, of course, it'll help me find out more about you guys. So. That's why we've brought back this corner. All you need to do is send me messages telling me about yourselves. Your name, your age, what you do, your nickname, your family relations, what you like, anything. What you hate, what you're into these days, everything. So you can tell me about you just like you're talking to your friend. And don't what you hate, what you're into these days, everything. So you can tell me about you just like you're talking to your friend. And don't forget to write Who Am I on the title when you send your messages to our message board. If you want to send me your messages for Who Am I Part 2, all you need to do is write Who Am I on your title and send it to me on your message board at www.arirangradio.com forward slash music access or through your smartphone application. Well, let's listen to our first Who Am I Part 2 message. This is from Liana from Malaysia. Okay. Hi, James from Malaysia. People call me Yana or Yana Liana or Xiaoyan Panda because I love fluffy pandas so much. I almost bought an air ticket to Chengdu unconsciously because I really want to see and hug pandas. Wow, 23 years old. I'm a teacher to be and I'm so worried about my next year because it's going to be my final year of five and a half of university. Because students nowadays are scary... <laughs> I need to pick up subject for research about student or my subject. Well, anyway, enough about me for now. I hope I can meet Royal Pirates in Thailand this December, though I think it's going to be a trip alone from my country. I have friends in Bangkok, and I hope they come too, so we can meet. Do you want to meet a moon lookalike, James? <laughs> That's me, personality-wise, though maybe a lower-level psycho than moon. Sorry, moon. 
<laughs> I'm curious of what food you can cook, James. Love from Malaysia. Well, first of all, a couple of things. Thanks for sending your your message, Liana or Xiaoyan Panda. But if you unconsciously purchased a ticket, that'd be very interesting because that means you're asleep while you're. That that's a lot of love for pandas, and those things are pretty dangerous, aren't they? Are they're pretty cute though, but I guess. But anyway, also congratulations on reaching your final year of university. And I don't really want to meet a moon lookalike. I'd like to meet you, but I see moon every day, and that's more than enough. I I don't really need to see moon <laughs> anymore. But yeah, he, but he is kind of psycho, but in a good way too. Oh, anyway. Oh, if you're like Liana and you want to meet us, the Royal Pirates in December. Guess what? We've got a concert coming up December 16th, and that's Tuesday at 8 p.m. Okay? It's called the Thank You Party, and if you come, you'll be able to meet all of our members, including me, James. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And Psycho Moon, apparently. Well, I shouldn't call him this. He, moon, Normal Moon, and Suyun. So I hope you can see a lot. You, I hope to see you and a lot of MA family members there as well. Well, anyway... Thank you so much, Liana, for sending in this message. And I hope you keep listening to Music Access and send us lots of messages. All right, we're going to listen to a song before we come back with our second Who Am I message. All right, this is requested by Ragda from Tunisia, and it's one of my personal favorites. It's Imagine Dragons with Radioactive. The song you just heard was Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. All right, it's time for our MA family to express everything about themselves with Who Am I Part 2. We have messages coming in on our message board right now, so let's listen to a couple more. This is from the States, written by Sochi. Hello, Opa. My name is Sochi. Sochi, yeah. It means Queen of the Flowers. Well, I'm 16 years old. I'm turning 17 on January 24th. Smiley face emoticon. I'm a junior in high school and I love to dance. I take two different dance classes in my school because my dream is to become a professional dancer. I like to make K-pop dance covers. Well, Opa, I'm glad to tell you a little about me. Well, first of all, thank you for sending your message, Sochi. And I'm glad that you could just tell me about your hobbies and stuff. And you're really talking to me like you're just a friend because that makes me much more comfortable. And I guess I can sound less like a robot when you do that. First off, I'm glad that you know, you said that you enjoy doing K-pop dance covers. That reminds me of my little sister, Jessica. And she she used to do K-pop dance covers as well and just record them on my computer and I would see them later and I'm like, "What are you what are you doing?" But it was incredibly cute. It was so adorable. So that reminded me of her so thank you. And I'm glad that you have a passion already. That's that's pretty interesting because I like I like to dance too. But I'm not very good at it. I think I need to take a couple classes. You're already two classes better than me, so maybe one day I can upload a video of myself. Da- ah, actually, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm gonna let's skip on. Thanks, Sochi. I'm so happy you introduced yourself to us, and I hope you keep listening and sending in more messages. Well, for all of you who had your messages read during Who Am I? If I see your names on our message board, I'll try to remember to give you guys a shout out. Okay? And if you want to send your messages for Who Am I? Part two. All you got to do is write who am I on your title and send it to me on our message board at www.arirangradio.com forward slash music access or through your smartphone application. Alrighty, we'll come back after a song for All About Music Quiz. This was requested by our loyal listener Satomi from Japan, Katy Perry's Roar. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz. A quiz that progresses receives praise, but a quiz that's always the same gets ignored. So all about music quiz is to say the least the most progressive quiz you'll ever come across. Five different music quizzes from Monday through Friday. So get ready for the great music and have fun answering the quizzes. And we even have a special prize for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. 
This time, our AA Music Quiz prize is Flo Rida's album, Wild One, provided to us by Warner Music. So, for our first AA Music Quiz, the format for today is guessing the group, okay? So, I'll be playing you a song from the group. Let me know what the answer is. Okay, here we go. That's so, so cute. Doesn't that feel so cute? This is my best dancing. I'm, I'm 100% embarrassed of myself right now. Oh my god. Yeah, that was, that was so cute. Not me, but... The, it's, well, if you know the group, you gotta write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. Alright. We're gonna listen to a song and come back with the second hint for AA Music Quiz. Don't go anywhere. This was requested by Lourdes from Mexico. Beasts, good luck. The song you just heard was Good Luck by Beast. And if you feel lucky, you gotta listen up. A collaboration between music and quizzes. All about music quiz. All right, today's AA music quiz format had to do with the guessing of the group. And if the first hint wasn't enough, here's a second hint. Okay, we'll let you listen to this group, st- another song from this group for a short time. And what you need to do is guess what that group is. All right, here we go, second song. I'm still embarrassing myself. Woo. It's so cute. Why is this song so cute? I don't. I don't know about you, but that that song makes me feel like I feel like a teddy bear. Why did I just say that on radio? Okay. Anyway, that was your hint. I don't know if that hint was easy, but I'm sure you probably know what that song is. And if you know the group. Write your answer on the title and send us a message with the correct answer. If you think you know the answer, come to the Music Access Message Board at www.arirangradio.com forward slash music access and leave us your answer with the title answer. Okay. Our AA Music Quiz prize is Flo Rida's album Wild One provided to us by Warner Music. Alrighty, before we move on, let's listen to another song. This was requested from Va- by Valerie from Mexico, and it's New East featuring Yuara of Hello Venus with Yepo.
The song you just heard was Yeppo from New East, New East featuring Yuada of Hello Venus. All right, it's time to listen to some more of your stories with message time. Okay, first off, we got a message from Ruzi from Indonesia and says, No, James. That's the first thing that she said. No, James. Which I don't know why you're starting off so negatively, but let's, let's see why. All right. No, James. That's a great idea. I believe many of your fans, including... Me wants to see your dance, so please do the video. Well, you know what? I I don't think I can upload it separately because I think my company would hate me for that, and they might just just take me off the roster because I'm just a terrible dancer. But I think that if you're watching Aidang, you could see the upper half of my body moving, and hopefully that'll be enough to fulfill your craving of seeing me dance enough. Okay, so thank you for the message, Ruzi from Indonesia. Also, Georgia Sanchez from the Philippines says, DJ James, you're so very, very pokey. I'm saying it like that because it's all caps lock, and that means handsome. So, thank you. I thought pokey. Well, okay. Please look at the camera once again, please. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you. That means thank you. Well, I appreciate that because at first when you said pokey, in Korean, pokey means to, to give up. So, I thought you were saying that I look like I just gave up or something, but I appreciate the hands the handsome comment is the camera right here. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, um, Georgia Sanchez. Reina Wildens from Indonesia says, Hi James, I'm Reina from Indonesia. Nice to meet you. How was your day? I hope you're having a great Friday. God bless you. Well, today it's raining in Korea, but you know, it's been the first rain in a long time, so it's it's okay, it's new, it's refreshing, but thank you for the message. Shelly from Indonesia says, Hello DJ James, finally it's Friday, and I'm currently listening to you in the middle of work. So good luck with your radio show. Have a good day to you and to your listeners. I hope that my my radio DJing is stimulating your work process, otherwise I'm probably just distracting you. If you're watching, you're just seeing me dance and... I just hope nobody else ever watches that that segment ever again. But yeah, have a great day. Um, Dan Carmel Solis from the Philippines says, Hi, Opa, tuning in again. I'm alone today in the classroom. Can you accompany me? Well, I hope it's TGIF for you. And I hope this day is perfect since the sun is already shining. Take care of soon, Opa. Okay, because he seems to be sick. Royal Pirates fighting and M.A. Well, I'll take care of soon. Don't worry about it. I I actually gave him a jacket the other day too, so it's really thick and he'll, he'll be fine. Don't worry. Well, thanks everybody who sent in your messages for message time. Let's listen to some songs before we come back with more. First off, we've got No Turning Back by Boy Cat, requested by Chloe Wu from the UK, and Gunjok Gunjok, which means sticky by Hello Venus. Oh, oh, man, that's ca- so catchy. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Why am I being so corny? Anyway, the songs you just listened to were Kunjok Kunjok by Hello Venus and No Turning Back by Boy Cat. Okay. Let's listen to, let's listen to a couple more messages that we just got in. Okay. Cynthia from Singapore says, Hi Jamie Sees, which is just James with a bunch of E's. But I think she's just emphasizing how much and continuing on the message says, Why are you so cute? Hugh 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 Hugh. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I I think I drank too much coffee in the morning, like way too early. But anyway, moving on. Thank you for the compliment. Rayshawn Moore from the USA says, your new nickname is Teddy Bear. I, that is not my new nickname. My nickname is Santiago. But maybe it could be Santiago the Teddy Bear. Muni from Singapore says, have a great Friday and weekend ahead. You're doing an awesome job as a DJ. I appreciate it, Muni. Thank you so much. 
As yeah, from Bulgaria says, James, that dance was absolutely adorable. I have no words. You made my day. Thank you. I don't know which dance you're talking about because I dance way too much for this first segment. I dance more in this first segment than I dance in the last... Well, I dance a lot like yesterday, so I guess more than what the most I danced today. All right. Well, it's almost time to wrap up the first hour. But in the second hour, Crazino will be joining us for dancing in the Club MA. So don't go anywhere. We'll be... Music access. Welcome, 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 welcome back to the second hour of the Friday edition of Music Access. I'm James of Royal Pir Pirates, the lucky guy that has been able to spend time with all of you guys here on Music Access starting on Tuesday. So in the second hour, Crazino, Crazino will be joining us in the studio once more with Dancing in the Club. MA. So here's how you can listen and participate. You can listen to us by visiting our website www.adirangradio.com forward slash music access and leave your messages there on our message board. And you can also see our broadcast in real time. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogwipo, and 101.9 for Tejang. Alrighty, after listening to a song, we'll come back with Crazino for Dancing in the Club MA. Up next is Crazino's Lunatic. <laughs> You've worked hard on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and now finally it's Friday, and it's time for a well-deserved break. And if you worked hard this entire week, raise your hands up in the air. Uh, shake it, sh shake it, sh 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 shake it. Relieve all the stress from the week with dancing, dancing in, in the, the club, club MA. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Well, hello, cr crazy no, crazy no, cra yeah. crazy no. How do crazy I how do I pronounce it? Crazy that? no, crazy no. Yeah. Okay. It's Hi, nice, James. It's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, it is. Well, can I first ask you why? Why is it crazy no? Is uh, it crazy? Well, Zeno is my like real name. Oh, Zeno. Yeah, Z, Z Y N O is my real name. That's so. a really cool name. Man. Mm, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's unique, right? Yeah. Um. So I I came up with this uh, crazy. Uh huh and no like combined together so all right yeah all right, man mm -hmm. well that's okay well also i heard we're the same age and this is since this is the first time we're meeting yep is it i guess it's kind of strange to ask this sort of question because we're both we're both <laughs> dudes we're both right. guys but <laughs> let's talk about first impressions in five words or, or less all right five, okay um my first impression of crazy no is he is seriously really crazy. All right, <laughs> you're, yeah. you're really crazy, man. Okay. Well, what about me? What's your first impression? Of you? Um, I thought I thought you were like an actor. Oh, really? Yeah, you have this act actor kind of look. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I get that, but I don't know what that look is. But thank mm. you. I, I'm assuming it's a compliment. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah. Crazy yeah. no or Zeno is all. All right. Thank you so much. Well, mm. our guest yesterday, um, yep. Kyun, is from Australia, and I heard you're from Australia. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever meet before? No, actually, um, I only heard of him like um, at the studio. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, there are a lot of guys from Australia, but mm -hmm. I've I've actually met nearly all of them mm -hmm. except for Kyun. So, ah, um, well, mm -hmm. there's you guys have a, the similar vibe. I think would only come from the accent, but you both seem kind of like manly guys. Is that? Is that right? Am I right about that? Uh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Aaron, Aaron and I are both from LA. Do you think we have? Do you think we have anything in common because of that? Um, actually, I feel like very different. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Different vibes from both of us. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron is like more. More like a cutie. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I think he has all these fans watching. Uh -huh. That's why I think he's like uh -huh. you know, shabang shabang, cute right. cute and stuff. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. Well, our corner for today mm. it's called dancing in the club, ma. And when yeah. I when I first heard this corner, I was like, yeah, dancing in the club. So, <laughs> can you tell me about this corner, crazy? What What do you guys do during this hour? Well, normally we just um, we talk about um clubbing because it's like Friday every day okay. like we do and 
like the songs that we like to listen in the club or anything that affects us that um that could actually make us dance uh-huh. and so it's like mostly like exciting music instead of like like slow i see yeah and ballad stuff so. right, i'm pumped man i'm feeling hmm. good this background music it's got it's got my blood pumping right now yeah the hip hop yeah. <laughs> hey, i gotta <laughs> practice that like, then i think i would look too much like a llama <laughs> anyway so there is something that you do but you guys mm. it's mostly just just do whatever comes to mind yeah right all yeah. right Okay, well, we've been asking our listeners to send us our message for this week's topic, Mm -hmm. and that was things that drive me crazy and songs that drive me crazy, and just, if you're listening, you can still send them in now. Just write Club MA on your title when you send in your messages, and as we get messages from our listeners, we'll just talk and have a good time while listening to music. Yep. And instead of dancing, Mm -hmm. what about just pretending we're we're at a bar just chatting away? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool? Mm Mm-hmm. All right, man. Well, this... This thing, this week's topic was things that drive me crazy, and we're talking about good crazy, not like annoying crazy. But okay, here songs that you were infatuated with and maybe got you thinking about career in music. Is are are there any songs like that for you? Well, um, the the songs that made me wanna you know like I. There was like Big Bang was my like wannabe style of oh, music okay. when they first came out, uh-huh. and, and um, yeah. But before that, like when I was in like Australia. high school uh-huh. in Australia, yeah, um, I liked club music. Club music. Yeah. Ever since so when you were in high school, you listened to dance music like EDM, that kind of stuff. Mm, because mm-hmm. I I had these friends who actually um, like a crew, like mm-hmm. a dancing crew. You you were in a dancing crew. Yeah, I I've uh, not professionally, but uh-huh. you know, like in school or just high school. Just homies, just. Mm, yep, yep. Oh. So, um, we had like street concerts and stuff like that. Really? So, yeah. So it's like, I liked like hardcore music and I, like pumping music. I had I had street concerts too. When oh. I, when I was in America, but yeah, dancing? No, just rock band. But whenever ah. I dance, yep. people people leave <laughs> when I dance. <laughs> uh, usually, I want you. You do street concerts because you want people mm. to come, right? Yeah, right. When I start dancing, mm. people people leave the vicinity. Right. right. But unlike that's that's against the purpose mm. of having a street concert, right? Like, how many people would show up at these concerts? Well, um, they actually like gather up like mm. whenever, like, like as as we go, uh-huh. as we build up. So you build kind of like a following after a while. People knew you were going to perform, and they mm. would show up. Like friends and family would come. Um, actually, like. Little little fans, fans. Wow. Yeah, they knew when we were gonna be there because we were every day, like we were, we were there like pretty every, consistently. Yeah, yeah. Wow, man. So you're mm. you are you debuted when you're in high school, pretty much. Um, you know Kevin? Do you know Kevin in there who actually? Uh, I've heard of him. I've yeah. heard. I haven't met him. But He's he does this twelve uh, twelve o'clock. Uh, DJ uh-huh. DJ in radio. Okay, and he's he's my best friend since oh. like middle school. So he used to do that as well. Like we were like friends. You guys were in the same crew. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm. Okay, blown so, away. Yep. So that's why. You, okay, later on you got to actually show me in the club. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want people to come. I'm tired of people leaving. All right. Yeah, we should be in a club someday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, guys, you, Nance. You guys heard it. You guys heard it. Anyway. Okay. Well. Yeah. Since. We're we're a little older, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what about dividing the songs that influence us into two different ages? Since since you're crazy about music already starting when you're younger, in your teen, let's divide it with the teens and the twenties. Okay? Oh yeah. So okay, are there any singers that you're crazy infatuated? With, like you're stuck on this person in your teens or maybe even younger? Well, when I'm in <laughs> Australia, I listen to. Um, as I said, I liked club music, mm-hmm. and one of those music was um, "Every Time We Touch." Every time we touch. Have okay. you have you ever heard of it? Uh, I th- I I might have heard it if I if it's, I hear it's like it. A, yeah. It's every time we touch. Oh. I have this feeling, oh. and every time we face, I reach Cas- the clouds. Cascade. Cascade? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Mm, that's, a, to... that's a so it's a popular song. I just didn't know that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Title yeah. of it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you, that's one of the songs that influenced you in mm. your teens because. Um, well, you know how like teenagers like like to like crawl in in clubs when they're not like meant to be. I've never done that. <laughs> okay. I've always been a good um, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just um, kidding. <laughs> right. Yeah, and but, like it, it was it was like it was like my first time when I actually <laughs> entered the club, mm-hmm. and this song was like 
like the main song of the club. The, it was the biggest hit mm, at that time. Mm, yeah, yeah, and so I was like well, in it, right in it, crazy. Nice. Mm. So EDM right away. Mm. But for me, when I was in my teens, or actually I was younger than my teens, because mm. this the song came out in '96, but I was mm. obsessed with No Diggity. I don't know if you know the song No Diggity, mm. but it was by Black Street, which is uh, composed the. One of the members is Teddy Riley, which is a famous producer for Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. Dr. Dre also featured on the song. It was it was a number one hit, mm. like in '96. But I was singing the song when I was younger, Paul. Well, anyway, let's take a listen to these two songs. Yeah. Right before we come back, so up next we've got Cascade with Every Time We Touch and Black Street by No Oh Black Street's No Diggity. You just listen to Cascade with Every Time We Touch and Black Street's No Diggity. And you're listening to James from Royal Pirates and Cregino, Crazy No, on Dancing in the Club MA. Well, what do you think? What do you think of the, that song? That song you know? was like real hip-hop, <laughs> right? Yeah, did you expect that coming from a, a rock band bassist? No, but yeah. when you actually you know introduced the song, uh-huh. I thought it was going to be hip-hop. Uh-huh. But um, you know how... I actually like like really like pumped up f- fast. Uh huh. Like there's like like tons of other hip hop music, uh-huh. right? But I'm not used to the slow music. Oh really? Yeah, because like w- whenever I go to the club and like listen to slow music, mm-hmm. I think it's the rest time, you know, <laughs> resting time. Like <laughs> like like um, so I can like sort of you know lie down on the sofa and okay. like sort of rest. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that we got you some rest time yeah, in yeah. the studio. Now yeah. it's time to go. All yeah. Right? Well, actually, we got a message mm. from Brazil in Carolina. Her name is Carolina. Mm. And let me, I want to read that out for you. It says, mm. Cregino's accent is really, really sexy and cute. And they want to know if you can say her name. Her name is Carolina. Can you just say her name? Caroline? Caroline? Carolina. Carolina. Was that really sexy and cute? Carolina. <laughs> because I need to learn how to combine those. I only have I only got cute today. Yeah. <laughs> Next time can you say it one more time, Carolina? Carolina. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> there you you're welcome, Carolina. You're welcome. Well, we listened to the songs that we were infatuated with in our teens. Well, how about the twenties? Is is that okay? Can we move on to the twenties? Twenties. I yeah. mean, we're actually in the twenties, right? Yeah, yeah. Um. So what's what's the song that you were stuck on recently in the twenties? Well, I I like Dynamic Deal. If you uh, know what that is. No, of course. Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deal. Um, they've been like my role model since since they're actually on when they were CV Mess. Yeah. CV Mess was a team before Dynamic Duo when mm-hmm. they were trios. Okay. So, yeah, and. Uh, especially Keiko, I like his like rap music. He's and stuff. so cool. Mm-hmm. He's just a professional cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish man, I need to learn from that guy and you. <laughs> Carolina is that is that okay. anyway? All right. So I picked the song mm. for my twenties, "Fine China" by Chris Brown, because mm. I'm just uh, it's driven by the bass. I love that. There's a little fuzz on it. So mm. let's listen to those songs. All right. Yeah. Cool. Up next, we've got dynamic duos, Purko Nori, Fireworks, nice, and Chris Brown's "Fine China." All right, you just listened to Dynamic Duos, Purko Nori, or Fireworks, and Chris Brown's Fine China. You're listening to James of Royal Pirates and Crazy you know, on Dan- Dancing in the Club M.A., man. Wow, you know, I actually haven't heard that Dynamic Duo song before, mm. but it was really, really good. Yeah. It pumped me up. Mm. I'm ready to go. I want to dance. Well, can you tell me, what what are some other reasons that you like it? Can you define those? Well, um, there are there are so many songs that I like from Dynamic Duo, mm. uh, Premium Pr- Chung, da- yeah. Insomnia, and like, so many good songs. Mm, mm-hmm. But this song I particularly like it because they they put it in the ending in their concerts. Oh, oh. Mm, it's like the final song. It's like their their biggest um crazy songs. It's the biggest hit. Mm, it's not no. the biggest hit, but it's it's the it's a song that has like the most energy. Ah. Yeah, so they they do it at the end, like the last last song. Yeah, you know, even when I'm playing shows, I'm like, what what should the last song be? I'm a, mm. it's always a kind of confusing on because the energy is really important, you know, at the end of a show. Yeah, you just wanna, before they leave, it's they need something that like you know you like, want to give people a good mm. farewell, right? Mm, right, okay. right. So yeah, man, and Fine China. The reason I picked that song is, mm. have you seen? Chris Brown dance before? Of course. I think the topic of today is just dancing in the studio, not dancing in the club. Mm. But his one-take dance performance, it blew me away. 
he he can move his body in like different angles. I didn't know these angles existed. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Well, anyway, right, right. Let's let's get to a few messages. Um, Kaylee from France says, "Crazy, no, your laugh is so cute, and I think you're crazy." That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I think you do. You should use that in your next song. That laugh. Yeah, mm. I should. Hey. It should be a mm. loop. Mm. It should mm. be a loop. <laughs> and then we can. Oh man, we should write together someday, man. Mm, but that's good. I'm not, that's good. I haven't written house music before, but we can try, <laughs> try that. Rayshawn Morris says she's from the USA. She mm. says, "Oh my God, the memories! I haven't heard these two songs since forever." Thank you for playing these songs. Going down memory lane. You're welcome, Rayshawn Moore. And Mara from the USA says, Dynamic Duo is my favorite K-hip-hop group. They mm. really have got the style of hip-hop down, plus they add their own Korean culture twist to it. It's great. That's true, right? Mm, That's, right. Like, they're, they've are they got swag. Swag. I, I don't have any swag. Do you have swag? Swag. Yeah, my voice cracked when I said swag. Swag. Mm. What is swag to you? Swag? Yeah. Swag. <laughs> swag. <laughs> it's dynamic yeah. duo, mm. pretty much, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Well, well, just to let you know, I write songs and I play them on stage. And mm, right. You make songs too, but yep. do you sing them yourself? Or I do. do you have- I, well, I, I have an album, so mm-hmm. like I do sing it, but I actually don't play the instrument itself, so... Mm-hmm. I I like people who actually, like you know, who, who could play the that actual life. instrument. Mm-hmm. So, actually, if you invite me sometime mm-hmm. to your studio or oh. wherever you whatever wherever you play music, sure, I can you know. Awesome! We've got a show mm. coming up. I'll let you know more details oh, about that later. Yeah, yeah, it's in December. Mm. But you know, so when you're writing, I know the process of writing is different for everyone. It's a creative process. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever had any moments where you thought you'd go crazy during the writing process while like, writing the song? Well, actually, I crack every time um, when I'm actually... You crack? What, yeah, like, what is crack? boom, like, like go crazy mad, uh-huh. you know? Uh-huh. Like, because my studio, I have actually this, um, this turning ball. I mean, what do you call that thing? The a lights. disco ball. Yeah, the you disco have, ball and, and the lights. You have yeah. a mirror ball. The mirror ball. Yeah, the mirror ball. That's, that's like the seed of craziness mm, right? so like it's dark it's got a, it's got a mirror ball and it's like we put on the beat and then i you know it's like shout out just everything that i feel at the moment <laughs> and record so it crazy mm. that's why my <laughs> lyrics are so like crazy you know Can <laughs> like you tell me like your craziest lyric or mm, a lyric yeah. that just came comes to your head right now what's yeah. like what are some of the lyrics or like if i yesterday i had this song uh-huh. it was like um i was at a at a bar with my friends uh-huh. And we were playing drinking games, uh-huh. drinking games. Um, and you know how they um, you shout out one, two, three, four, and uh-huh, like uh-huh, you know. Uh-huh. So I came out this with came out with this song saying like, "Nunch game ill, it's some sa like some like like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. dang yeah, That's it's a like, hit. <laughs> yeah, it's like and I, I made it and I and I put the lyrics like basically what actually happened there, like okay. you know. With so from your own experience, mm, mm. okay. Yeah, Trogonda, right. Trogonda, Trogonda. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <something> like that. <laughs> Man, but in, I know in his head, I can. If you can't see from the the video, his chin is moving at <laughs> a very fast rate. It's like Trogonda. <laughs> that you're you need to slow down when you're you know throwing yeah. those back. Mm. Well, anyway, I actually I've had some crazy moments, but more more angry moments mm. than because I'm so frustrated. I write songs. Yep. And I end up writing the same song. But uh. I'm like, I have new passion, but I'm like, this song is going to be a hit. But it's the same song that I, I just released. And oh, right. it. <clears throat> yeah. it happens. It happens. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it happens to you. Yeah, because it's, it's like what you have yeah. inside. You yeah. know? Yeah, it's yeah. like... Pres- like pretty much the same. Sometimes yeah. you got to like mm. search outside for inspiration. Mm, but right, for example, right. it's... So one of the songs I released is called Betting Everything. I'm betting everything. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but it's very slow. There's no dance like beat to it. Maybe you can make a, a remix of it if we work together in the <sighs> future. But the the hook goes, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold on. But then the new song I wrote is, I don't want to fall asleep. It's the same song. <laughs> and it's so frustrating because I wrote the same song twice, but I put that much energy into it. Mm. But yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's what I drove me crazy. But anyway, mm-hmm. anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was depressing. But this is our last question mm-hmm. for each other. Yep. What are you crazy about? What, in other words, what are you really passionate about? Well, there's like about. Um, actually, everyone knows that I'm passionate in soccer. You're a passionate soccer. Mm, in soccer. You know, actually, when I first heard your name, Cragino, or Cragino, mm-hmm. I thought you were going to be Cristiano Ronaldo nah. for Real Madrid. <laughs> and I was really, I was super excited. I was like, Cristiano Ronaldo is coming in the studio today. <laughs> and then you came in, I was like, that's, he looks a little different than mm, Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo. But I was still very excited because you're, mm. you're, you have so much energy. You're, and the first thing you did was like, ah, ah, making these crazy noises. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. But yeah, you're crazy about soccer. Soccer. Uh-huh. Mm, I like. I play four times a week. So four times a week. Yeah, I'm mostly like a soccer player, wow. not, rather than a producer at the Do moment. You- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you play soccer more than you produce. Mm, yeah. So you must be very good at soccer then. Um. Yeah. I used to be a, in the in a club. Um. When I was nineteen until nineteen. Mm. Mm. Like. Wow. Mm, you're pretty so. much. Like pro, um, no, quarter quarter, really quarter, pro. <laughs> <laughs> quarter pro. Oh, no, yeah. Invite me next time. Mm, oh yeah. yeah, if you if you're interested, yeah. yeah. But uh, don't you guys play basketball instead of soccer? I play basketball, mm. but I'm more of I played water polo. Oh, when was, yeah. When I was in high school and college, yeah. I like water polo. But mm. you know, mm, I played soccer once before or yeah. twice in my life <laughs> the first time I played it, I scored a hat trick. Oh, hat trick in three minutes. In three minutes. How, did, how could that happen? Because it wasn't real soccer. Uh, we had these bubble suits, and I was I was chasing these people down. And as soon as the ball got to them, I was like, yeah. boom! And I, just, I would just knock them over. Mm, knock them it was over. like rugby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, it was like, like rugby. rugby. Yeah. Yeah. So it didn't really require talent. Mm. It was just... But I scored three goals. And yeah. We were down 4-0. to zero and mm. We tied it up 4-4 four, four after that. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway. Well, and other, other things... <clears throat> you know how you just said your title was betting everything? Yes. I really like poker. 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 Oh. Mm. Every you... week I have a poker poker club. So, oh really? Yeah. Not using real money, right? We we yeah. shout like okay. for like food, you know. Oh wow. Yeah, whoever loses like buys um, food. Buys food. Wow. Yeah, so, and stuff. Well, I'm pretty hungry, so <laughs> it'd be nice to get an invite. No, I'm not trying to like yeah. push my way in there, but yeah. it'd be cool <laughs> because you're a cool guy. Crazy, no, but how about what what anything that like sort of you have for like, like being crazy? Oh, like my personal passion. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's there's a few things. Actually, I'm passionate. I was passionate about so many different things that. Here, here's a few. Well, mm-hmm. I'm obsessed with Spider Man. Spider Man. You know Spider Man? Yeah. I I have a Spider Man mask. Oh. <laughs> Wear it around. Okay. On hol- <laughs> <laughs> so you you put that on holiday? Uh, like uh, ha- not all not all on Halloween. Oh, well, okay. So we're on tour right now. Oh, um, okay. With Iminho. Uh, and uh, we were in China with him, mm, and okay. on Halloween we couldn't go out because there are too many people in in the lobby. So we literally couldn't get out of the lobby. They're uh, just waiting for him, and so I spent Halloween alone in my hotel room, oh, wearing no! a Spider Man mask. Oh! <laughs> it's a terrible Halloween. Next time you could call me. Yeah, we well, we'll something crazy. Come to China. And All, right, go, All right, China. Nice. China nice. it is next night. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm obsessed with yakwa. Do you know yakwa? That the Korean biscuit? Yeah. You talk. What is that called in English? Yakwa. Um Yakwa. It's a Yagwa. Yagwa. <laughs> yeah. Yagwa. It's yagwa. not Yagwa. yagwa? It's a... Korean oh, Korean right. biscuit. The right. traditional producers biscuit. like you're on your own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yagwa Yakwa. Yeah. I I had no idea how unhealthy those were for you. Because I ate ten. I ate ten in one sitting. It's it's unhealthy? Well, when you eat ten. <laughs> because okay. I All ate right. ten yakwa. And I sat down and I felt like I just melted onto the sofa one day. And it was it was an amazing experience because it's just so delicious. But it's really, don't you got to be careful how much you consume. Oh, okay. And also lately I've been stuck on, do you know who Flume is? Flume? Artist? Yeah. He's a DJ. Okay. okay. DJ. He's a DJ. DJ and he does a lot of remixes. But he did a remix of a song by Lordy called Tennis Court. And that's oh, one, okay. one of my favorite remixes. Um, but also the original song by Lordy. I don't know if you've heard it. It's a hit. It's, it's off the chain. It's a really, really good song. <sighs> oh, man. But, yeah, I got to listen to it. Yeah. I'll, I'll try it. We got to recommend songs to each other, man. <clears throat> yeah. and it, anyway, so that was us. That's what we're crazy and actually, about. Actually, recently, uh, my friend, um, 
was into nail nail art. Nail art. And because I have like long nails, I mean, like, not like what the, do you call the the reach cuticles, uh, the the white part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I have right. yeah. The, I have like um pretty nails. You and d- you ha- you do have some very beautiful nails. Yeah, and <laughs> this, this my friend a friend of mine wanted to practice her nail art stuff on me. So <laughs> I, at the at the moment, yeah. if you can see the camera, I have yeah. this um white and gold. Sort of those nail. Are, those are beautiful nails. <laughs> yeah, and, and James, um, when I first went in, I think you you think you thought I was it's like zooming kinda, in right now. It's zooming in. Yeah. Um, a, a little. T- yeah. Yeah. Those are those are beautiful nails. Yeah. Uh, if uh, I just saw your nails, I don't know how I'd feel. No, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he could, you know, think think. Um, well, you know what? We, we set wrong. the record straight. We're okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. Okay. So that was us. That's what we're crazy about. <laughs> We're going to listen to a song before we come back and listen to what our family members are crazy about, all right? Right. So let's listen to the song before we move on. This is Tennis Court by Lordy, the original. All right, that was Lordy's Tennis Court. And you know what? It's already time to wrap things up already. Oh. Oh, my God. How was it today, Crazy? You know, did you have have fun? Really fun. Real fun. It was very different from Aaron. Is it not fun? No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's like different fun from Aaron. Like no, Aaron is I like see, see. we we just you know like shout at each other you know kind yeah, of thing. Man, this one was like more. Um, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like more like a talk, a talk show instead of shouting at each other. You know. Well, mm. next time maybe next time we can shout at each other. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll start off just by Hey, crazy no, what's yeah. up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is pretty, that okay? All right, cool. <laughs> All right, well, it's really time to say goodbye now. Um, yeah. All right, so we're going to send Crazy No out mm-hmm. to this song, Get Lost by Icona Pop. So. <laughs> get lost! Woo! So get lost. Have, it was great to meet you. Great goodbye. to meet you, right, Say bye, everybody. Bye! Bye, guys! The song you just heard was Get Lost by Icona Pop. And I'm James Lee from Royal Pirates, filling in for Aaron here on Music Access. All right. It's now time to reveal the answer for the AA Music Quiz from the first hour. So what are the answers? Ooh, are you nervous? I'm shaking. It's A Pink. A Pink. And a lot of people send us the right answer, but unfortunately, we just had to pick one. So here is the lucky winner. The winner is Den Carmel Solis from the Filipina, Philippines. And the answer was A Pink, A Pink, A Pink. Thank you so much. We'll post it up on our message board, so you got to make sure to take a look. And if you see your name there, please send us an email at musicaccess at adirang.co.kr with your name, address, phone number, the date you were chosen, and your email address. Our AA Music Quiz present or prize is Flo Rida's album, Wild One, provided to us by Warner Music. And let's share one more message from our listener. And okay, I'll pick this one. Okay. Christina Park from the USA says, Hola, James. Hola. Listening to your radio on my way to meet a friend whose name happens to be James. Having two Jameses around makes me feel somehow awesome and keep the good music coming. And buen fin de semana. I'm sure you know what this means, Santiago. <clears throat> Christina, I have no idea what that means. Buen fin de semana. Does that mean um, congratulations on finishing this segment? I don't I'm just guessing. Um, was that right? Can you tell me? Yes or no? Okay. Well, anyway, unfortunately, it's already time. It's already time to say goodbye. I don't want to go. So it's Friday today, and we're already going to the weekend. I'm going to miss you guys, all right? So make sure you tune in to Music Access tomorrow and the day after and the day after that and the day after that. <clears throat> all right. Everyone, make sure to keep sending in your messages to Music Access. And I'm going to be going to our last song for today. It's from requested by Carolina from Brazil. Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. And this has been a huge hit for them. So enjoy that. This is James of Royal Pirates. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.